Hi YouTube, um, this is part three of my um, gremlin sculpt. Um, I've been sculpting a life-size gremlin. Um, so check out my other two videos to see the first two, but this is how it's looking now. So I've been using um, stuff called Milliput, um, which is like this. Uh, so it's basically a two-part putty um, and it dries just at room temperature, like rock hard. Um, so I'll show you some of the detail on here. So I've been building up all these textures and things. It's taken me ages to do it. Um, this has got a wire frame inside it for a sort of armature and then straight in with milliput over the top. Um, so just to give you an idea, <laughs> these uh, little boxes of milliput that I just showed you, um, I've used a hundred, just well over a hundred of those to make this guy. Um, so it has cost me, I think probably about 200 pounds. Um, but he, like I say, he's life size and he's completely solid. Uh, he had, I actually weighed him and he is about two stone. Um, so <laughs> he's really heavy. But if you, um, if you buy gremlins and things that are made of uh, latex foam rubber uh, the foam rubber can actually disintegrate over time um, and I do like the idea of you know making a gremlin using those materials so they're more you know like the original ones that were used on the screen um, but it does scare me that if you went to all that effort to make a model that it might over time start to disintegrate so this one because he's rock solid, he's not going anywhere, he should last forever. Um, and just little things like the claws and you know all those bits that you'd normally worry about snapping off, um, they're all nice and firm. So let me just show you, this is what I've been building up since you saw it last. Here's some of the texture under here. So this is what's been sort of driving me <laughs> crazy doing all these little tiny scales and things so I did on the last video I showed you some of the plates on the legs those are all finished now so I've chosen this texture for the um, for the legs here where it sort of looks a bit kind of blobby that was quite fun to do and quite a bit quicker um, certainly quicker than these um, and if you notice like the texture I've done here um, these are all smooth on the outside as you come down I chose to kind of indent them slightly more towards the bottom which I think looks really good it looks more like um, reptile kind of scales um, and I've got these textures on here uh, you can see obviously I've built up all these plates for the shoulder and things coming down the arm so yeah I've tried to use lots of different um, textures this on the arm here these plates these were good fun to do because they just just literally kind of roll out a sort of sausage shape and press it on and then just literally just use my thumb to kind of push those in um, and they happened really quite quickly but I think when they're painted um, they should look great and be able to like brush highlights and stuff do some dry brushing over the top um, I'll just show you on the back here as well. Um, I chose to do this really cool kind of plate texture again down his back um, with the tail at the bottom here as well. And you can see these have all got like little um, spikes that come out as well, which will be good fun to paint. Also on the back of the feet, there are these little kind of claw things that come out. Um, the ears, I've left them kind of quite smooth at the moment, but what I thought I might do is add some, like, um, what I quite often do is get kitchen paper and put, like, really industrial kind of PVA glue on here and then just kind of put the kitchen paper on um, wet. It's a bit like doing paper mache and just kind of crinkle it in and that can give a sort of a slight kind of skin texture. So I might do that um, before I paint it. 
but I'm really excited because obviously I've got to the stage now where it's all done and I want to just get on and paint it. Uh, and so tonight is the night where I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to do that. Oh, I've also, since the last video, I've used a Dremel drill to kind of shave down um, some of the mouth here. I've raised this so you can see a bit more of his gums and also the teeth were really quite big before and quite chunky so I've used a Dremel drill to kind of make these a lot kind of sharper um, thinner and pointier just generally a little bit uh, creepier and more evil looking uh, the Mohican thing that's going to go on the top is going to be the thing that kind of makes him look like Stripe the most and is um, something I'm really looking forward to putting on but I'm going to concentrate on all the painting next. So what I'll try and do, every painting stage that I do, I will try and do another video so you can see it gradually build. Uh, the first thing is just going to be to get a coat of dark over all of him, basically, which is nice and easy. Um, so if you like this kind of thing, um, check out my other videos. I'll be putting more sculpting videos on as and when I do them um, and hit subscribe if you want to see more videos uh, of this gremlin taking shape as I paint him. I will be uh, airbrushing at the end as well some of the um, kind of patterning on him. Cool, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.